This mineral here is halite, common mineral you guys should all be really used to. Um, this falls under the halides category um, on your mineral list. And halite here is probably going to be one of the easiest minerals that we have to identify in the entire class as a whole. So just looking at these, I've grabbed three totally different samples to show you um, a bunch of different things. One, the first thing to note is color. Halite can be many different colors. Um, here we have this kind of reddish color. If you think about like pink Himalayan sea salt and things like that, that's where you'll get those kind of salmon-y, peachy tones. And those are all from impurities that are um, in the deposit of the, in the halide deposit. So then we've also got this really clear form. You can think of this as like your table salt, that kind of typical thing. If we um, broke it down into tinier and tinier chunks, it would become less, um, it would become more white to our eye instead of this kind of see-through, very clear and transparent mineral. This one here is a blue halite, which is a little bit more rare than um, something like the pink Himalayan sea salts and things like that. So this one's a little bit more rare, but this shows um, a very different gradient of colors that you can get. So color is not going to be a very diagnostic property of halite because it can have many different colors. Um, the next thing to note is the cleavage. If you can get a fresh piece of halite, you'll see that it has great cleavage, perfect cleavage in um, three directions at right angles. So we're making a cube here. So if I hold up this sample, we can see that right on there, those are those beautiful 90 degree angles right there. If I broke this down even smaller, it would break into tiny cubes. We can even see this little crystal face right here. There you go, that's that 90 degree cleavage. So if I broke this up, it would keep doing that. Also, we've got these kind of step forms. When I look here, look at the light. That's pretty indicative of halite too on those fresher surfaces as well. Um, and um, the transparency of it too. Lots of times if you have a good single crystal like this, you'll be able to see straight through it. It's very transparent. This sample here is a little bit more massive. It's made up of a bunch of smaller crystals. Um, it has, you can see where the impurities are. We've got something else going on in there, probably some kind of iron, but you can still see these really nice crystal faces that all have this really shiny, reflective, vitreous luster. So very glassy, right? It looks like a glass cube when we look at this one, very glassy. Um, and then this one is really um, diagnostic of halite because it's so readily soluble. If there's um, water in the air or something like that, or if it's touched any kind of water, it starts to get this almost, it loses those perfect faces and gets a little bit more undulose, looks almost like waxy or something like that. And it's all wavy, right? This is really, really typical of um, older surfaces of halite. If I broke this down again, it would turn into something that had a lot more of a cubic form to it, a perfect form. But this is when you see this kind of weathered, goopy, waxy texture. That's one of those really indicative things of it being halite. Another thing that obviously I'm not going to demonstrate on, cam on camera, but this is super salty. If you were in the lab and you had this, or if you were out in the field, you could just get a little wet, um, taste it, and it would be, it would be salty, very salty. Um, another thing to note is its specific gravity. So it is very, very low density. This is, it weighs like nothing in my hand compared to um, something that has the same size, a chunk of galena where it's made of lead, would be very dense compared to this. This is very, very low density. So, so far the most diagnostic things, low density, salty taste, great cleavage, um, cubic crystal forms here, and readily soluble. Let's see, another thing, it, it's an isometric mineral. That's why you, you get these beautiful crystal faces that are cubic. Um, trying to think, I think this is pretty much it. Color is not going to be a diagnostic property of um, halite. But other than that, I think, yeah, the main, the main things, salty taste, readily soluble, um, great perfect cleavage, 90 degree angles, um, and that's that. Halite, your first of two halide minerals.